Hi, so and friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. In this video, I will be sewing a pair of palazzo pants, which I am loving at this moment. I already created the patterns for you in another video, which I will leave the link below, so make sure to check it out. So, if you want to make the best pants you have ever worn made by you, then continue watching. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Patricia and on this channel we love fashion and most importantly we love to make them unique for our bodies. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos anytime I upload a video. Also, make sure to hit the like button so YouTube knows you like my content to keep seeing them. With that said, let's get to the video. As I have already mentioned, I will be using the pants pattern from my previous video and I'll also be using this cotton linen fabric. Every time I sew with cotton fabric, I like to wash it first to pre-shrink it before cutting and sewing. Hence, I didn't think twice and did the same for this fabric. However, the fabric ended up getting weak and stretched in a weird kind of way, which I have learned my lesson. Going forward, I will know how to launder fabrics like this. I went ahead to cut my pattern pieces and I'm always scared every time I'm ready to cut my patterns. I always realize my mistakes after I have gone ahead to cut my patterns and I don't know if there's anyone here who experiences that. Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to say that with this one, I am glad that it turned out well. I cut it and there was no issue. Okay, so we are all cut up. I was torn between including pockets or not since I wanted this to be really beginner friendly the real truth is i was being lazy about adding pockets yo that's the truth but i snapped out of that and i added them so here i measured six and a half inches down the side of the front and i do have a tutorial i am working on for just the pockets depending on when you are watching this that video will be down in the description box i decided not to cut the piece of paper that i am folding here so I still have the original pattern in place. We are all about pattern hacking here, an essential skill for this lazy sewers, okay? I went ahead to add my 5 8 seam allowance and I cut the excess off. So this is the front and this is the back. I put them aside to work on the pocket. As I've already mentioned, this pocket pattern tutorial will be up on my channel very soon. I didn't want this video to be too long, hence the reason I separated them. I have already gone ahead to cut them as well. With right sides facing each other, I assembled the pieces together, pin and stitch in place. For the pants, I stitched the front crotch together and I stitched the back crotch together. I also stitched the pocket pieces together and I attached it to the side of the front pants which I cut earlier and then I stitched that as well. It should look something like this when you attach it to the pants. I go ahead to add the other piece of the pocket and stitch as well. I always get people telling me my home sewn clothes do not look home sewn. <laughs> the secret is in pressing every seam you sew, seriously. 
that little detail makes a huge difference. So if you want your home sewn clothes to look store-bought, you know the secret now, pressing. To ensure the pockets look neat and nice, I went ahead to pin and understitch along the seam line, making sure to catch the fabric underneath on the side I am sewing. I hope that makes sense. And this is what it should look like. Next, I went ahead to sew basting stitches to keep the pockets in place when I'm ready to attach it to the back piece of the pants. I didn't want any fights happening between myself and the pocket as they can be very disrespectful. <laughs> And just like that, we have a pocket. I cannot begin to tell you the amount of joy this brings me. Mmm, this looks good. <laughs> if I may say so. This is my first time doing this and it turned out this good. Wow, you can't tell me nothing at this point, okay? You can't tell me nothing. It's time to join the front to the back. I am always excited when my sewing project is coming together. I end up wasting so much time trying it on before it is done. Let me know in the comment section if you do this as well. So I finally pinned and stitched the two together on the out seam and also on the in seam. Now, let's move on to the waistband. I went ahead to measure the front waist of the pattern and the back waist of the pattern. After taking both measurements, including seam allowance on both side seams, that is the front and the, um, the, the side, I moved to the fabric to make my cut. I wanted the waistband to be one and a half inches wide and I added a little bit more in order for the elastic to sit nicely in the band when inserted. Next, I joined the band pieces together to form one piece and please make sure to take note of which side is the front and which is the back. I got confused with mine for a minute. If you are making this pants, if you don't mind, what you can do is to sew the waistband to the pieces before you, you actually sew the crotch together so you don't have to deal with this whole thing that I'm doing here. I then went ahead to join the band to the pant. I could have just cut this and joined it to the front and back patterns before actually stitching them together as one piece, but obviously that's not what I did. <laughs> To finish off the band, I folded the raw edge by a quarter of an inch and folded over to cover the seam line and I pinned all around. I feel like I say this all the time. And as you may already know, to insert an elastic band, we need to leave some opening for inserting the elastic and I'll be leaving about an inch. I go ahead to stitch the band close using the stitch in the ditch method. I will be using one and a half inches elastic band. I measured my waist on the elastic and added about an inch for overlapping the band. Honestly, I never get this right at the first try, so I never cut it until I have tried it on and made sure that I am not being sucked out of my body by the elastic band before cutting the excess off. <sighs> the things we do. Once satisfied with that, with a zigzag stitch, I finish off the band and I close the band opening. I also finish the hem off the pants by hemming it by hand and I cut off any hanging threads and that's it, we are done.
Thank you so much for spending your precious time with me. If this video has helped you in any way, kindly give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have been encouraged to make your own pair of pants in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And finally, make sure to check out my Instagram. As they say, that is where the fun is. Till next time, have a beautiful morning, afternoon, and evening wherever you are. Bye.